as we discuss the poem childhood we are also discussing a little bit about the phase of life that you are going through as we just told you we're talking about adolescence and yes you are there at that stage or in the facing the dilemma of whether am i to be or to be considered as a child or as an adult but one thing is very very sure that yes so like of course you will grow you will have experiences in life we're going to leave our childhood behind but yes never ever let the child so keep the child in you alive enjoy the little moments of life enjoy whatever you know, happy moments life gives you it's not necessary that it has to be a grand event to be happy even if it doesn't happen in the day they are also enough to bring a smile on our face to make us enjoy right so it's a little pleasures of life like a child is there happy at little little things you know right yeah not necessarily grand big expensive things here but small things in life that make us happy so let us keep the child in us alive always then only we will be able to appreciate and enjoy the beauty of ye kya ye bhi maine dekha what is this ye bhi maine dekha hua you keep on doing like this i think so you will never ever appreciate uh, all that is going in life around us so let's uh, enjoy this beautiful life we are blessed with let's find happiness in small things right Helen Kaur can uh, turn on her video and then ask me a question otherwise i am not uh, going to reply Helen Kaur please turn on your video and she has a doubt i think so yes Helen Kaur you can turn on your video anybody who has a doubt who wants to ask me a question one is there you will turn on your video right so Helen Kaur You can start your video here. Do you have any question? Is it related to this poem? No. And of course, when I ask you to turn on your video, you will say that you will start your video later. So, if you have any questions, and then then just start your video and ask me. So, we continue with the poem. That is childhood. Okay. we started yesterday and we are here talking that when do we realize that we are no longer a child what are the things that happen around us what are the things we notice as we grow and little things in life that give us hints that things around us have changed okay now when did my childhood go when did my childhood go you will find this line has been repeated this question has been repeated in the poem what do we call such a device what do we call such a line which is repeated again and again in every stanza the beginning or at the end we call it a refrain what do we call it refrain please note down r e f r a i n right so we have discussed it before in other poems a refrain a line that occurs repeatedly repetition of a word when a word is repeated it is called repetition when a line is repeated it is refrain okay right when did my childhood go was it the day i ceased to be 11 was it the time i realized that hell and heaven could not be found in geography and therefore could not be as that the day So what is the question? What is the question the poet has? That is, where did his childhood go? When did his childhood go? Is it a particular period in our life? Is it a particular age in our life when we lose our innocence? When we lose our childhood? Eleven years old, right? So yes, here could it be when I was? no longer 11 i turned 12 and that is when i lost my childhood or when i realized that hell and heaven are not there they have not been taught to us by a geography teacher we have not read about them in geography so that means they do not exist right so yes so he is able to 
think for himself. He has to do, do some rational thinking. Okay. This stanza talks about rational thinking. What is right and what is wrong. Okay. Yes. Now, hell and heaven, two opposite words. They are together. Yeah. And they join together here. Yeah? This is called an antithesis. Hell and heaven, please note down, it is called antithesis. I'll be doing the literary devices again with you at the end of the poem. I'll discuss here, but for your information, please, for your reference, please note it down on your books. Could not be found in geography and therefore could not be, was that the day. When did my childhood go? Was the time I realized that adults were not all needed to be? They talked of love and preached of love, but did not act so lovingly. Was that the day? Next is, he realizes the existence of hypocrisy in this world. He realizes that adults, they say something, they behave differently. They tell us to be kind, they tell us to be helping and caring and sharing, but no, they're not like that. They talk about equality, but they don't practice it themselves. He realizes that there is hypocrisy in this world. What does this stanza talk about? What does this stanza discuss? It talks about hypocrisy. What is hypocrisy? Who is a hypocrite? A person whose actions do not match his words, right? So they say something, they mean something else, they say something, but they behave in a different manner, right? So that person is a hypocrite, okay? Right, so they talked of love and preached of love. Yes, we talk about loving here, we talk about caring here. But when it comes to reality in life, they are so different. And if we were there, so uh, you can say open minded and really practicing what we preach here, there would not be discrimination in our society. There would not be the gender inequality, right? they would not be female feticide, right? Yeah, so all these things, they show the hypocrisy that exists in society. We talk about educating the girl child, we talk about upliftment of women, but what is it? No, we pray to have a son. We should be blessed with a son. So here, this is the hypocrisy, which is shown, and here, when the child realizes that, see here, look at the society, look at the adults around me, how they behave, they talk about equality, they discriminate themselves, they talk about love, they preach of love, but they don't act lovingly. That is when he realizes, I am no longer a child. When you're able to understand human behavior, right? So this is... Once again, when did my childhood go? When did I lose my childhood? This time, this was the time that I lost my childhood. So let me just write it on the blackboard for you all to put this down here. So look at this point here, please. The first one here, what we talk about rationality. The first answer talks about rationality. Okay, we talk about in the second stanza, what has realized, what has he realized? Hypocrisy. So please note down in your notes. Note down please. Yes, the first stanza is what? Rational thinking. Second stanza is about hypocrisy. How does he realize hypocrisy exists? Can anybody give me the answer? Yes, can you give me the answer? What shows us that uh, hypocrisy exists in the society? How does the poet learn about the existence of hypocrisy? Who's going to give me the answer? No one? Yes? So hypocrisy, when he realizes that these humans say, talk about people, they talk about, yes, the words don't match with their action. Very nice. Thank you, Isha, for the answer. Very good. Yeah, so we are there. We behave so differently. We talk about equality. We talk about, yes, people should have a civic sense. 
they should not uh, you know like uh, misbehave kind they should be properly public but we are the first one who will go and throw a garbage on you isn't it so we are going to meet in others but don't ask us to behave like this this is a hypocrisy right so when the child realizes this when he notices all this happening that is yes a sign a hint that i am no longer a child i am no longer a sweet innocent child next is when did my childhood go was it when i found my mind was really mine to use whichever way i chose producing thoughts that were not those of other people but my own and mine alone was that day when did my childhood go was it when i found my mind was really mine when i could use my mind to think when i was not under the influence of others when i was not under the pressure of others or when i was not told by others that this is right and this is wrong i could think for myself was it when i found my mind was really mine to use whichever way i choose i have my thoughts i can use it in a good way i can use it in a bad way producing thoughts that were not those of other people but my own and mine alone was that the thing so when did i realize that this is my mind i can think for myself i can produce thoughts which are not influenced by others very very important here we should learn to think independently so what has he discovered in this stanza what has he discovered he has discovered his individuality that i am a thinking individual i can think for myself right and i can decide for myself what is right what is wrong this is identity right so when i did to my child to go was it when i found my mind was really mine to use whichever way i choose whichever way good way bad way producing thoughts that were not those of other people but mine and mine alone i am responsible for my thoughts i am responsible for my actions so when you realize when you grow up when you realize your thoughts right and you can think for yourself you can decide what is right and wrong so these are the things the poet has realized when did my child come on ye ye points i like it i realized okay that i am not a child anymore right so not a child anymore is not necessarily yeah you don't be tall okay now i'm not a kid but yes have you grown up have you realized what is happening in the world around you are you able to differentiate are you able to think for yourself this is when you realize you are no longer a child where did my childhood go now in the last stanza he is asking where did my childhood go it went to some forgotten place that's hidden in a infant's face that's all and he says i don't know when my childhood went was it when i was 12 or 13 right so i can't tell the exact age when i stopped being a child when i stopped being so pure and innocent but one thing i know that where can i find my childhood again if i want to really experience my childhood i want to relive those moments i want to go through those beautiful moments that i had in my childhood where can i find them look at the last stanza it's not when it is where where did my childhood it went to some forgotten place that's hidden in an infant space that's all i know so where is my childhood i can find my childhood in an infant space in a young innocent child right that is where i can find childhood and i want to relive i want to see my childhood what it was like i can look 
impact an infant's face and realize that this is what innocence looks like. This is what childhood looks like. Okay, but yes, here it is that we've grown, and as we have grown, we learn. We have so many experiences, and because of those experiences, our outlook towards life changes. So we grow up, we become mature, we become adults, we become responsible, we start taking decisions, we become, we become you know, responsible, useful members of the society. But deep within us, in our heart of hearts, we have the desire to be a child again. Because when we think about childhood, what do we associate childhood with? Happiness, no worries, no problems, so much of love and so much of comfort, isn't it? Right? So that is what we associate with childhood. And yes, yeah, so within us, we might have grown. But we have those memories within us, and given the time, given the opportunity, the little child in us should come out so we are at least able to enjoy the little pleasures of life. As an adult, we start acting very prim and proper. No, 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 I can't do this, I can't do that. But yeah, when you're a child, you don't worry about what the world thinks, isn't it? Yeah, so, we'll sort about yourself only. And, and yes, you will make sure that yeah, you get that happiness, you get those things here. That is what children do, isn't it? But yes, here we can still enjoy those beautiful moments of childhood. You come across a small child, you see this infant, and you see the things on the child's face. You are able to relive your childhood. You are able to find lost moments of your childhood. Clear? So here in this poem, what is a big question the poet is asking? When did my childhood go? He's asking again and again, when did my... Yes, I'm telling you. Right. Look here. When did my childhood go? Please look here. It is refrain. What is when did my childhood go? It is a refrain because this line you see, look at the poem and it is repeated again and again in every stanza we find. Repetition of a line is called a refrain. Okay, right? Next is look at the line. Was it the time I realized it? Hell and heaven, two opposite words. Hell and heaven, of course, with a conjunction, they join, and this, it is anti -thesis. two opposite words, okay, right, then, what else can you find, what else can you find, tell me, is there an example of alliteration? Is there an example of repetition? Yes? Which stanza talks about rationality? Which stanza talks about rationality? First one. Second stanza talks about hypocrisy. Third stanza talks about third stanza talks about individuality. And the last stanza talks about where he could find it. He's looking at an infant's face. And he can recollect, he can recall his childhood. Okay? Right. Yes, was, was. What do we call when words are repeated in two consecutive lines? Do you remember? What do we call it? Anaphora, yes, and I will leave it to you to do this little work today. Find out simile, alliteration, metaphor. Is it there? Is it there? They talked of love and preached of love, but did not act so lovingly. Yes, here. Yeah. What does it mean? Who is they over here? Who's they? Adults. Right? The 
people, parents, adults over there. They talked of love. Preached means to give lectures about. They're telling others here. Yeah, but did not act so lovingly. They did not behave so lovingly. They did not behave so kindly. Okay? Was that the day? So he's looking for that point in his life. Is there a particular day all of a sudden, boy, I'm not a child anymore. No, it's not that. Right? So when does it happen? Even we cannot find out. So we related with events, incidents that happen in our life. Okay? Yes. So please go to this poem. Any doubts, any questions? Let me know.